Hey guys, I'm back for another Geometry Dash video, and as the poll requested, uh, well, it's actually, I think it's a tie actually, so I might also try to start streaming soon too. But this video idea is the one that won, which is how to get the most demon keys the quickest way possible. And as you see, I have 96 right now. Now, keep in mind, in my whole around a thousand hours of playing, I've only opened these chests, which, you know, if you do the math, it's about 267 keys. And I've gotten these keys within like the last couple of days, honestly. And that's even while grinding Cat Planet. If you're wondering why you want Demon Keys so bad or anything, it's because all these stupid chests they added. There's so many. Like anyone that hasn't played this game consistently for so many years, like like you know Aeon or EBW, they're not opening any of this, bro. Like it's crazy. But in general, the way to get Demon Keys is every 500 orbs you collect you should get one key and these difficulties right here you're wondering oh what might be the best one well that's what this video is oh my god so i'll start by this autos obviously give you no orbs and now i just completely flat out recommend against normal and easy levels for any skill range honestly because they really just don't give you a lot 50 orbs for easy 75 for normal but anyway, let's get into the first tip, which this depends on your skill level. If you find yourself being insane, or at least getting like 50% of them really easily, go for this. But I usually go harder or hard, star rated, and I go in like this, and I literally just play a level to a certain percent. And you know, you might end up being them every now and then too. So let me just go to some page out here. Like yeah, I've played all these recently. I think the 6 star and 7 stars are personally the best just for orb grinding, but if you're also trying to get stars, I think 5 and 4 stars are actually the best for this, because you'll beat those within a couple times most of the time. So here's like a 7 star. This is mainly just for orbs though. Like I'm not really going in here trying to beat it. Like there's 33 orbs just for 15%. But you know, and here's another one. So yeah, okay. So yeah, ultimately this is probably the best strat, depending on how good you are, I guess. You could even do this with demons. Like, there's a lot of easy demons where the first good percentage is pretty free. So you should be able to get some keys from that. Okay, like this is gonna be... Is this the Dolo song? What the fuck? It is. But it's different. Okay. But yeah, like, sometimes you'll end up just being these, I guess. So that's good for stars and all. I mean, I don't expect to beat this one, I guess, but we'll find out. Wait, it's gonna end at the drop? Okay. <laughs> well, there's the Dolo song. Alright. See, like, two attempts. There's, uh, well over 170 orbs, 175. And, as you see, I also get five stars, because I beat it. So, I mean, that's a good example of why I think five and four stars are good for stars and the keys. But purely for the keys, I easily recommend six and seven stars above it. And maybe easy demons as well. I also recommend filtering by, you know, anything that is an XL. So, you know, short, medium, long. Don't go for XL. It's going to be just way worse for orbs because you got to play longer and all that. You kind of get it. I'm sure. But let's see what I can do on the seven star here for orbs. I'm gonna die here, yeah. Okay. I mean, random 59%. I'm sure I should go back and beat that for the stars after this video. Look at that, 130 orbs. Very easy level right there. I mean, if you want easy orbs, just go on this level, fuck. <laughs> but yeah, you kind of get the point of those. Now the next thing, flappy levels. Uh, if you want stars, you could include more difficulties, but for the orb strat, I just recommend these two still. And you just look flappy up. Look at all these I've been, yeah. Like, I've been a lot of these. And I'm pretty sure all these are, like, in, like, 11 attempts right there. This hard, look at this. One attempt for a six star. That's, what, 225 orbs right there. Just one attempt. Three attempts for this. 175 orbs. So these flappy bird levels are pretty good. Like, here's one again. Like, let's see this. <clears throat> Like, as you see, they're kind of just repetitive. Like, they're not fun to play, but you can, like, put something on the side and, like, listen to it, like a podcast maybe or something. And, you know, I'm not going to play all this again because, like, 
I mean, they are boring. I'm not going to lie to you. And a couple of them are, like, a lot harder, so I just get to whatever percent I can in a quick matter of time and just get out. I recommend, like, up to, like, ten attempts, and if you just don't think you're going to beat it, I'll just get out and just get your orbs you got. But, yeah, these are easily a good way to get some orbs. There aren't that many of them, but, like, look at all of these. Like, I've just been a ton of them. And some of them, like this one, I just didn't play, like, all the way. That one I didn't play. Like, see? But, I mean, there's just a lot of these, so... I recommend those especially. And next up, we do have platformers to mention here, which, you know, with the addition of 2.2, platformers are a thing, and some of these can be pretty good. Once again, I normally recommend the hard and harder filters. You can also do normal if you just want some moons and everything. Those are very easy. But you should be able to be a ton of four and five stars. Now, you can't filter for length, really, for these. So what I do recommend is just checking, like, how long they are. This one's one minute. I recommend a minute or less, honestly. There's some that are less than a minute, there's some that are a minute. So I'm gonna go on one of my personal favorites. Something uh, else to mention though is platformers are probably the best way in the entire game to get silver coins, at least the easiest way. Like even if you're good or bad at the game. Because I mean, if you're good at the game, you know, they're pretty easy to get normal levels. But maybe if you're not so good, they aren't. But uh, make sure to grab that coin on this level. I really don't know why this audio has to play this kind of dog shit. I'm probably just gonna try to lower it. But, uh, see, so yeah, I got all 28 so you get that coin. And on this level, you can go down here. And this one is one of my favorites. <laughs> got a congregation jump scare there. And a minute right there. 125 orbs. Easy, free, four moons. Now, the platformers, I truthfully only recommend if you just want moons as well. Or if you're trying to like, I mean, you can already watch stuff on the side and everything. Like, I would, I would play these for like a couple hours and just watch stuff on the side. Like, you know, all these 440 moons are pretty much just recently. I do have a couple of these platformer demons from a while ago, though. Um, and the final thing, I'd say this is probably the like least good idea, honestly. Uh, don't, don't mind this. Uh, so technically, demons give you the most orbs, as you see, 500. But obviously, they're the hardest, so. I guess you gotta decide on which ones to play and how long you gotta play it. I'm stupid. But I mean, there's 28 orbs for 7%. So honestly, if you get to like 15% on these, they're probably more worth it. And I mean, if you're good at the game, like at least my skill level are better. Like you should be able to get like pretty high into these. And you know, 50 orbs just for playing a bit of it. I mean, there's an argument for XLs because I'm sure that, you know, they have easier gameplay a lot of the time. But they're way longer, so it's just gonna take you longer. Alright. I mean, like, if it starts with ship, it should be a pretty free, like, way to get orbs, depending on how good you are. Because, like, easy demon ship shouldn't be a problem for me almost every time. It's, I mean, unless it's, like, pretty fast, maybe, but, you know. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm done. Either way, 50 orbs again. So there's the quest for five Germano orbs. So that means I should have just got a key. I'll check in a second. I guess the song didn't download, which is annoying. Another 60 orbs, just playing a couple attempts. You could even do more attempts to get further, probably. Honestly, I recommend spending a couple more attempts than I am. I'm not really like playing very long. There's the key. So there's my 500 orbs. And let me check how many minutes I've been playing. I've also just been doing other stuff, but you know, about 15 minutes. You could get way quicker too, especially if you have like a lot of easy demons just around that are like not hard at all. But yeah, if you guys have any other tips, what the f hey, uh -huh, now free orbs. I mean, there's no way they're gonna... Hold on, does this go to that? Okay, I want the little... Okay, good. I was gonna say, I want the little to kill me, because I don't really want a free demon. Okay, good. See, so yeah, look at that. 400 orbs. Go on this level. Fuck it. 
I mean, almost 400 orbs just for doing nothing. So you know what? I'm glad I found this randomly. So another step right here. Very good orb bubble if you haven't played this randomly. One attempt, 400 orbs for free, doing nothing. So with that, I'm going to end off this video right now. And if you guys have any good suggestions for other ways to get these demon keys for people, let us all know in the comments. And I mean, let me know what you guys think is the best method here. Honestly, I think they all have a pretty good... They're all pretty good, I guess. Because, you know, the demon levels are really good if you're pretty good at the game. And then the six and five stars are consistent for most skill levels. And then the platformers are pretty much guaranteed orbs if you just play through them with checkpoints. As long as they're easy enough where you can actually beat them. So honestly, I think these are three, like, very good methods. And there's always the Flappy Birds. Definitely get the Flappy Birds done. Uh, I got a lot of keys from those. Probably, like, 10 to 20. And a ton of stars, obviously, too. But yeah, I hope this helps. If not, let me know what I can do better. And the next video should be some Cat Planet progress along with when I'm probably going to start streaming that. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for sticking around. See you.